Now let's talk about the VDD as well. Now, if you're maintaining your requirements in the form of VDD already within a Git repository, so if you have a team that works or a business analyst that work on the feature files for creating those requirements, you can sync them back to our test management as well. So if once you integrate your Git to our test management, you'll be able to see the VDD tab. And then once you come to this particular view, you can go ahead and select the version control that you're integrating with. Now you can have multiple of them as well. In my instance, I just have one Git repository, but if I click on this Git, you can see now I can go ahead and access the repository from that particular Git. So this is already configured. You can configure as many repositories as required and then go ahead and select the branch, click on choose folder, and now you'll be able to navigate directly within the UI of our test management to the folder path from where you want to extract your feature file. Let's say select this particular path and I give the file name. Now, once I click on pull, you can see that this will override your current BDD content. Are you sure you want to pull the content from your selected repository? Click on yes. And now this is where I was able to pull my feature file directly from the Git repository that I have. So basically you can see we are also linking requirements to the scenario. Now this is a real automation scenario that we have where whenever this automation runs, so whenever the automation runs in your pipeline, it already knows where to link to our requirement as well. So whenever it creates the automation, whenever it creates these test cases related to our scenarios, so you can see we have examples as well, for instance, all of that would be created within QMetry and linked to this particular requirement. If you want to make any changes, for example, if I want to change this from 50 to let's say 30, I can go ahead and make those changes as well. So let's say I write in the version control command, change the value to 30 in second received example. And from here, I can also push the changes to the repository. Now, once the changes have been pushed, if it is, if this feature file or the repository is part of an automation pipeline already, it will basically go ahead and run the automation. And since that automation can be integrated back to the test management, you would see a test suite and test cases created back inside our test management and linked to this particular requirement since we do provide you with the option of tagging the requirements within your feature file.